Hi, welcome to showmethecurry.com. I'm Anuja. And I'm Hithil. And today we have Mangala Aunty here and she's going to show us how to make gluten-free rainbow puris. Mmm, very delicious. nice. <laughs> These puris have uh, carrot and uh, fresh coriander in it. Okay. So we are enhancing the food value also and uh, why I like these puris, again it's an occasional thing, we don't make puris every day, we don't fry every day but um, they are good to carry, okay. they are good to carry to a dinner say you are going uh, out to dinner and uh, the child with allergies uh, shouldn't only be having rice, mm -hmm. uh, they stay soft. Right. Uh, they stay soft in an insulated container, but if you're carrying them in a small other container, also they're fine for a few hours. Oh, okay. Yeah, and uh, nice. if you are if you're eating them the next day, then mm. you should just zap them in the microwave oven, few and seconds. then they're fine. A few right. seconds, yes. Okay. So we're starting off actually with the basic gluten-free flour. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a recipe for that already, a video yes. for that on the website, so you can look for that. Yes, we made a whole lot of it and kept it, so mm -hmm. it's perfect time to use that. So we have one cup of that. To that we're going to add a quarter teaspoon of salt or to taste, one teaspoon of uh, jeera. jeera or cumin seeds. You see, you don't need an accompanying vegetable with these exactly. puris. With the other puris, you need something right. to go with right. them. Right. These you can take along even on a journey. So you Very don't good. need that accompanying vegetable. Picnics and auntie, why only kids? I think a lot of yeah, adults yeah, sure, have a lot sure. of gluten, uh, uh, you know, allergies. So perfect. Right. It's great for lunch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you can put in the oil. One teaspoon right, of one oil. Teaspoon. And now I'm just going to add all this. A half a cup of uh, finely shredded carrot. So, so it was about, about three small ones and that was uh, Two, about two tablespoons of chopped cilantro, cilantro. or co coriander, green chilies to taste. Again, optional. If you optional, use. yes. Or you can use red chili powder. You know, I'm yes, sure it sure. tastes just as good. We have one third cup of water over here, and it's just regular tap water, and we're just going to add a little at a time. Yeah. Yes, I don't uh, want to just add all the water at one go, just to see how much the dough will take, I am going to knead it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Carrot adds color and, and carrot yeah. is also beta carotene okay. which is an important antioxidant to have and actually cooked carrot yields more beta carotene than raw. Oh really? Always. Cooked mm. vegetables are more assimilable by the body. And here is the balance of the water and uh, so depending on how fresh your jar is, you'll need that much water, you know. So if it's very fresh, you'll ne need less water. If it's a little older, you need more. So just put a little at a time so you can, you know, keep a control on it. But that looks very pretty. Mm -hmm. Yes. I like the name. <laughs> <laughs> I think the kids would like the name as well. Yeah. Right. And we will let this rest a little. It doesn't have to be refrigerated, um, you know, I mean you can keep it outside for even a couple of hours, it's fine. Mm -hmm. So do you not need to knead it auntie, a whole lot like gluten? Yeah, I am kneading it, okay. I am kneading So about 5 minutes? Yes, yes, okay. easily. So is it the same consistency because as regular? Uh, uh, yes, it's a little less um, a tighter than the regular okay. cookies. Okay. okay. I'm sure the vegetables will let a little bit of water it go. Water, yeah. yes, yes. So we lightly coated it with oil and now we're going to cover it and let it sit for about 15 minutes and we'll be back. So we also have the oil heated up uh, for deep frying of course it's puris <laughs> you have to do that and we the dough has rested for 15 minutes so we're ready to get the puris rolling now. Make small balls you know, you can roll out all the puris and then fry them if you want to do it that way. Yeah, just flatten each ball like this in the palm of your hand. So you get nice flat balls. Uh, dust them a little in the rice flour. And then you just roll them out. Not as thin as rotis. They should be a little thicker. 
So we're going to test the oil a little bit. Yes. It's ready. It's ready. Pop right up. Drop the puris in very gently. And press with your slotted spoon, press the puri down so it give, has enough time to puff up. See, these puris are not going to balloon as much as the puris which are plain because the flour is a little heavy. And flip it around after a minute. Let it cook on the underside. And then pull it out to the side. Take out, drain out all the excess oil and place it on a plate lined with paper towel. So, so now we have the puris. Mm, and they look fantastic. So they made about uh, 20, 22 puris so depending mm -hmm. on the size how much how big you have them. So I think it's like perfect. It's perfect for a family. I know. And of how course, beautiful uh, I know Auntie mentioned this before, but some of them will puff beautifully and mm -hmm. some of them won't. But it's okay because even the ones that don't puff are still nice and soft. They're right? soft. They Mainly they're yes. soft, you know. And not just that so they're yummy and uh, you want them to be soft, mm -hmm. you don't want them to be uh, crisp because it will be harder to take them around. To take and, them, you know. yeah. And you can always pack a few in, a, in foil yes. and carry them around or put them right. in a lunch box or something. For picnics so or for yes. lunches yes. and yeah, yeah. parties. I think they're really good. Even gluten-free lunch yes. is such a challenge. <laughs> Auntie, right? it's, it's even not. without gluten-free it's hard. <laughs> <laughs> so I can just imagine. <laughs> See, it's so soft absolutely delicious. They have a great texture. Mm -hmm. The taste is amazing as well. And I love how they look. Mm -hmm. So cute. Mm -hmm. So aptly named. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. You know, names do well with children. Yes. <laughs> that is so you true. You have to create some names for them. Fun yeah. names. Yeah. Yes. That is so true. So very, very nice. Thank you so much Auntie for sharing this with us and our viewers and join us again on another episode of showmethecurry.com adding a pinch of spice to your life